is shedding normal how do i know if i'm experiencing shedding or breakage if this sounds like you then stay tuned to the very end of this video because i'm going to be telling you all about shedding what it is two how to know the difference between shedding and breakage three how to know if your hair is shedding excessively and finally ways to prevent excessive shedding hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is sissy and if you're new here i share with you great tips and tricks on how to thrive on your natural hair journey i'll also be sharing with you lifestyle vlogs from time to time so in this video i'm going to be talking about shedding but before we get into the topic of shedding i want to explain a few things so to you first. first of all you have to understand the hair growth cycle okay so what is the hair growth cycle? It's actually the process of your hair growing out and then eventually falling out of your head. Okay, so it has four stages. It has the anagen phase, the catagen phase, the telogen phase, and finally the exogen phase. So I'm going to just touch on these phases briefly so that you get the idea. So the anagen phase, which is also known as the hair growth phase, basically deals with the cells and your hair follicles rapidly dividing to make room for new hair growth 80 to 90 percent of your hair is in the anagen phase and this usually will last between two to seven years however how long your hair can grow depends on the length of your anagen phase but there are a whole lot of factors that actually influence the anagen phase we have nutrition genetics age and your overall health so don't think that your genetics is just not going to allow you to grow really long and healthy hair okay you have to overwrite that myth so the next stage is what is known as the catagen or the transition phase so over here once your hair has reached its maximum length the hair follicle is going to detach from its blood source and then it's going to turn into what is known as the club hair once the club hair is formed, it's going to go into the next stage that is known as the telogen phase or the resting phase. Over here, the club hair is now going to get ready to fall out. So what is going to happen is that there's a new hair strand that is going to be growing beneath it and it's going to gradually push it out. And this will usually take three months. Yes, about three months. And what happens is that this new hair is going to gradually push it out so your old strand is going to be attached to your scalp ready to fall off and then this new strand is going to start its cycle this is going to usher us into the last stage that is known as the exogen or the shedding phase so that is where your hair actually is going to fall out. now how do you know if your hair is shedding excessively there are some people who have genetic conditions that are going to cause their hair to fall out or fall out in lumps and those people would have to get themselves checked in the hospital get diagnosed and see a professional to give them guidelines as to how to manage this condition but if you are someone who has you know perfectly growing hair healthy hair and all of a sudden you realize that you're experiencing lots of shedding it could be as a result of different things one could be stress stress has a way of actually turning our whole metabolism upside down and so once this happens your whole system is thrown haywire that is the reason why it can lead to excessive shedding another thing is lack of vitamin d vitamin d is really essential in our diet and also helps us to maintain a lot of our body processes and also is very very important in a lot of our body processes and so when you're lacking in vitamin d you probably will experience some abnormal shedding you should go see a doctor and get yourself checked and then you will get a professional advice as to what kind of vitamin d to take and then also the quantity to take another thing that could be causing your excessive shedding could be products that you're actually using in your hair so you should watch out so finally how do we prevent excessive shedding 
one you should incorporate in your diet lean proteins like chicken and fish you should also incorporate healthy fats like avocado and olive oil you should also include eggs and other dark leafy vegetables another thing that you should also do is you should probably go see a doctor and get your vitamin d levels checked so that you know that you don't have um a deficiency in that Another thing that you can also consider, which I highly will recommend if you're taking care of these two other things, is you should definitely incorporate green tea rinses in your hair care routine. This is because the green tea is going to help to prevent free radicals from causing your hair to fall out. It also serves as an antioxidant, which is really vital and really essential for your hair. Because green tea is high in antioxidants like catkins, it has the ability to inhibit the hormones that are in charge of hair loss like DHT, dihydrotestosterone. So you should definitely give it a shot when you're trying to reduce the amount of shedding that you're getting. All you have to do is to spray it onto your scalp and onto your strands and then just leave it to air dry most of the time when i do this i do not rinse it out but if you think you want to rinse it out after an hour that's also fine i think i did that some time back when i realized i was having a lot of shedding and the results were almost instant i did it a night before i went to bed and then i did it the following day in the morning and the result was amazing so you should definitely give green tea rinses a shot so guys, that brings us to the end of this video. If this video helped you in any kind of way, please don't forget to help your girl out by liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. And also, don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you're the first to be notified anytime I post a new video. Until next time, I'm going to see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye!